Hello, hello, lovies. You guys, it's so weird to be horizontal. I'm like looking over here when really I need to be looking over here. <laughs> so here we are. Um, I'm gonna wait for a few of you to come on just to make sure everything's working right. You guys, it's gonna be so hard to look at the a different spot. And then we're gonna invite Just Jack on the live once he gets on. Um, and then I'm just gonna get this shared into my team page and on my business page and get things rocking and rolling. Hello, everybody. If you are tuning in, say hey, Jack. If you're on, comment so I can get you invited in, lover. Good afternoon. Happy Monday, everybody. My voice is a little scratchy, and that is because I was at a live event this last weekend, and I had a freaking blast with my peeps. So I am so excited to be here, you guys. Hello, Jack. Hello, hello, love. I will get you invited in. Hold on. Let me just hit your face. Let me just hit your face. Why won't it let me invite you? Hold on. There we go. Bring Jack on camera. Works better than it did last time the first time, but you know we don't give up. Okay. And then I'm going to get this. Is it working? Are we going to echo? Okay. I'm in. Can you hear me? I can hear you, and there's no echo. No echo? No echo. We're good? Yes. Oh, wow. I look, I look very big in this camera. That's right. You kind of look muscular. Like, what is happening? Ooh. <laughs> I'm so excited to be with you, girl. I haven't talked to you since, how many How many weeks has it been since I've talked to you? Like three or four? Three. three. We're due for three a call, four. so here we go. Yeah. We're overdue. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we are. We're, here. We're giving our call live. Live and in the flesh. Um, yes, did same. we share already? Are we all good to share? Yeah, we should be good to share. I'm going to share into um, Lash Boss Babes and then um, I'm going to share. How about a watch in... party? I've okay. never done a watch party before. Should we kick off the party with a watch party? Let's do a watch party. Watch parties are the best. Or do we do that later? We do a watch party after, right? The watch party comes as the replay. You right? can actually do it while it's live, honey. Oh. You'll learn something new every day, right? So I'm going to do it. So I have my iPad right here. Like three or four? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. All right. I'm ready. You yeah, ready, Jeff? I'm, hold on one more time. I'm going to just put it in. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. I did it. I put it in the Lash Boss. It's already as a watch party. So boom, baby. There we are. <laughs> All right, let's do this. You want to start? Want me to start? Who leads? You can lead, honey bun. All right, ready? Oh, like let's go. Welcome, welcome, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and those who have yet to make up their minds. I am your host, JustJack.com, with two S's, coming to you live with my homegirl, Johanna Jean White, and we are ready to get this party started. If you haven't yet, make sure you sign up for our newsletter at justjack.com and I'll drop mine in the comments. Thanks you very much. But you can get mine at Johanna White, the Johanna White.com, you guys. There's a huge it's the, just like middle of it. The Johanna White.com, also known as Hurricane Joe, because she comes in like a hurricane and out like a wrecking ball. <laughs> so Joe, how was Nashville, my dear? How was Nashville? Get us caught up in what you've been doing. It was so much fun. Fun. Um, I love live events. Like they are the heart and soul of my business. I love to be in the room full of all the energy um, that these events bring, whether they're, you know, business based or personal growth based, mindset based, whatever they are. It is incredible to be surrounded by such amazing human beings, men and women alike, that are so uplifting and validating. And we just love each other. We just want everybody to become better, right? Um, so yes, I just came back from Nashville. I actually spoke at Nashville on Saturday and it was moving you guys. It really was moving. And everybody in that room was changed in some sort of way, whether it be mentally or, um, business wise, they were, they were moved as much as I was moved in that room. And if you're not at a live event like that, you don't get to the same energy out of a live event on Facebook or a video on YouTube. It is so much different to be face to face, next to body to body, 
just feeling the energy, feeling the vibration level in that room and just taking everything in and also the culture that we're a part of. Like, it's just incredible, Jack. It really is. Yeah. And, and you have, you're not only, you're not only one to attend live events, but you speak at these events and you have yes. a, a very different way of giving, of, of serving the message. Do you want to talk about, about that? Truth. So a lot of times you guys, I get chosen to speak on, you know, sponsoring how we, how we recruit in our businesses, how we get teammates in our businesses, right? Business partners in our businesses, or how do you sell so much girlfriend? Why, how, do, how do you get such a big following? <laughs> but the thing of it is, you guys, is I always bring it back to mindset. I always bring it back to personal development because you guys, 90% of any business is mindset. If you don't believe that you're going to achieve anything, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody's going to believe in you. And that includes the universe or any higher power or vibration level around you, because whatever you give out, you guys, is what you're going to give back. So when I speak at the events, I always make sure to preach on mindset and making sure you're always in the right state of mind every single day, the second you wake up, because we all know. It's a domino effect. If you had a rough morning, if you wake up late, what then happens? You know, your kids are screaming, they're hooting and hollering, nobody's getting along. You get stuck in traffic somewhere, you're late to school, right? It's bada bing, bada boom. You spill your coffee on your lap, whatever it may be, you guys, it's a domino effect. And it starts because your mindset and your head was not right from the second you woke up. You were not grateful for the second you put your feet on the floor to have the sun shining in on you, to be alive, to be well, and to be healthy. So I preached heavily on, on mindset. That's just, because that's what, that's what life is all about, you guys. Yeah. We had a live together. You and I asked what, we, what your number one daily method of operation was. And you said pray, remember? And people were like, what do you mean pray? This is not, this has to be so much more than pray. And what I love about, watching you and what I love when we have our conversations is you like to do the meditations and so you take people you actually literally take people into a guided meditation when you when you do other presenters uh, speakers do that no not that no, I've never been yeah. to an event I've never been to an event that a speaker does a meditation especially the one that you taught me, Jack, was which is a visualization meditation, which is you envisioning who you want to become, what your what your perfect life would be. What would that feel like? So what I do, you guys, in my, in my speeches and at these events is I always end with that, um, uh, meditation. I always start with affirmations. I get everybody out of their seat. And I have them do daily affirmations with me, just like the ones that I do every single morning. Get them loud, get them proud, get them feeling confident within themselves. And then I talk about my story. I get them to understand the law of attraction and the universe. And, you know, basically, actually, you guys, the law of physics, which is Newton, right? Whatever you give out. Um, so every action has an equal or opposite reaction, right? So whatever you give out, you're going to get back. And it might be even worse than what you gave out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I speak on that. And then once I get through that and get them to understand the law of attraction and the law of physics and the universe, then I bring them into, hey, let's get into our higher selves and our highest power and visualize you as your highest self. So I have everybody close their eyes and I have them envision their room. Um, and then I have them fast forward five years in their life to see what what, what they want to see in five years, right? Bring them into their mind's eye and what they want to become. And you guys, it moves people. It gets people bawling their eyes out just for a three minute meditation. I mean, that's just literally a little bit of what Jack and I do, you guys. So yeah. um, yes, I have never seen it done. Um, it's moving for me and it's moving for the crowd and it just opens their eyes a little bit more to how beautiful and amazing life can be and how truly exceptional that they are because they're them and there's only one of them. Yeah. And this can really, this is a great tip for those of you leaders who are doing things belly to belly or doing things with the people inside of your 
communities. I live here in San Diego and we have a training coming up actually in February 29th in San Diego. Holla! So um, make sure to mark your calendars for that. But also for those of you guys who are not doing the annual trainings or anything like that, for those of you guys, leaders who are just getting in your homes and getting with your, your downlines and your uplines and all that, this is a great thing to do with your team. Get them into that meditative space. Get them into that space where there is no thought. That way you can create the feeling and then create the vibration. And somebody even asks, uh, what are some of the affirmations? What are some of your favorite affirmations, Joe? Mine are simple, you guys. I think a lot of people, sorry, I'm scrolling the comments because they weren't working for me. Um, some people overthink affirmations and they think they have to be like, these huge things that they have to remember like bible verses or something you know and it's so simple you guys i uh let me see i want to see when i started you guys i started my daily affirmations in no two years ago almost two years ago november of 2017 um when i was going for purple status which some of you guys aren't going to know what that is but if you do you know it's a pretty higher rank in the unique world in my business oh a lot of them know what that is Oh, a lot of them do, but some of the, I see my customers out here and they're like, what? <laughs> but um, it's a high rank. It's an exclusive rank, uh, top 1%, I believe, of the business in my business. And I started to pray that month and I never prayed in my entire life. And when I did pray, I didn't know what the heck I was doing because I was like six years old. <laughs> so it, it, was, it was a huge transformation for me. And then I started doing daily affirmations. And what I did, you guys, was I would write my daily affirmations on my mirror. And they would change. So I might have the same daily affirmations for the week. But then if something would change in my life or I felt a sort of way about something, I would put it on my mirror. And there were simple things for my life. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I'm a business owner. I'm a leader. Um, I'm a woman. So a lot of us struggle with worth issues. So I would put, I am worthy. Some of us struggle with feeling beautiful every day. So I would put, I am beautiful. I would struggle with my, my parenting. I felt like I wasn't being the best mom that I could be or the best wife that I could be. So I would put on there, I'm an exceptional mother. I'm an amazing wife. And then when I was running for purple status and, and even black status, I would write, I am a purple status leader. I am a black status leader. And I would feel that and I would own that. And the thing of it is, you can't just feel like you're going to be a black status leader. You have to envision it. You have to envision, close your eyes and just envision how would it would feel like to walk the stage with, with the CEOs of the company. How would it feel to get a 10K paycheck for the month? What would that do for you and your family? You have to feel like you've already earned that money. And then how would you spend it? What would you do with it? Feel those feelings, you know? Um, but I would put, I live my life with abundance. Um, let's see, what else would I put on there? I would, ch I would change it, but they're so simple, you guys. Um, so just don't overthink it. Speak them to yourself multiple times a day. Always start your day with them. And then the reason you write them on your mirror, you guys, is so you go to the bathroom a lot during the day, don't you? Where do you put your makeup on typically? Where do you wash your hands? Where do you go to the bathroom? Where do you take a shower? Um, where do you brush your teeth? Where do you wash your face? In the bathroom. And you usually do that multiple times a day, right? For some of those. And you it forces you to see it in front of your face. And what happens when you visualize something and you see it multiple times a day, you begin to say it out loud, loud believe it, and you'll eventually manifest it, right? You'll bring it to fruition in your Not life. So over and over. It's a repetition. Just like you guys think about it in a negative aspect. When it, maybe when you were growing up, you were called fat, you were called ugly, you were beaten down, right? And it happened over and over and over and over and over again. Then what happened to you? It tore you down. It made you feel less worthy. It made you feel ugly and fat. And all the things that those people were telling you, you felt it and you believed it, right? So change it around, you guys, and do the opposite of that. And if you feed yourself in your mind with only positive things and things that you want to achieve, it's a repetitive motion. You're going to beat it into your brain and you're just going to eventually believe it. And you're going to bring it into your life and manifest it. And it's going to become your reality because, you guys, reality is you make your own reality. It's not what somebody else tells you reality is. You make it every single day. So just make sure to do your daily affirmations and maybe try a meditation. See if you like it. Um, and you can change your whole the whole aspect of your life. Yeah. 
I love that you use the negative part of that because usually what happens is we create this whole character based on what people told us that character was. People told us that we were fat. People told us the character was ugly. People told us the character was stupid. The character was never going to mount to anything. And we took that as a belief system. And I think what's great about people like you, Joe, is you take that belief system and you throw it in the garbage where it belongs. And then you recreate your own belief system. And I think I, I've seen you get rid and then bring in, get rid and then get rid of and then bring in your own beliefs, which really have served you. And they really have, um, I say beliefs can set you free or hold you in bondage. And you've really set yourself free by building your own belief system yep. that you, that, that you built it, you built it. Let's talk about, because she doesn't have a lot of time. How much time do we have left, Joe? I don't even know what time it is. Hold on. We have 10 we're, more minutes left. Yeah, we have we're 10 good. more minutes we're left. 10, if, minutes. if you guys want to share, share down there. There, wherever it is. Wherever it One is, of those wherever it is, wherever it is. And I have giveaways. I came oh, I bearing gifts. I love giveaways. You have giveaways, Joe? You want giveaways? I'll, 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 do, a, I'll do a giveaway. Who I'm wants give away? you guys flood us with some hearts if you want some giveaways? Flood us with a heart, yeah, some hearts. I want hearts. you to be like breaking your fingers with those that heart. Yes, heart. throw your hearts. <laughs> what else gives giveaway? Gets giveaways. Give some comments. Tell say, tell us you want a giveaway. Um, but really, I'm only giving my giveaway out to my email list because I have to build up my email list. Bar, bar, bar. So um to get our giveaway, get on our email list at justjack.com, J-U-S-S-T-J-A-C-K.com. And I'm going to be giving out two audios, which I haven't given away in a very long time. The first one is the Audacious Faith audio, which is a really good audio about having faith. And the second audio is uh, our words, how our words are perfect spiritual law. So you want to get on my email list for that. And if I get too annoying, you guys can unsubscribe anytime. Uh, Joe, how do we get your giveaway? What I'm going to do for my giveaways, you guys, is to share this video. Anybody who shares this video will get in to have a coaching call with me, a 30-minute coaching call with me. And that does not have to mean you're in the business. You can be in the unique business. You can be in another network marketing business. You can be just on here because you just want to change your life and you're like i don't know how to get a belief system i will do a 30 minute coaching call with you so all you gotta do is hit that share button and then i will go through comment that you shared so step one share the video step two comment that you shared i will go through all the comments and then we'll pick a winner ah, i'm so excited and you know what i'll piggyback on hers i'll also give a free 30 minute uh just chat chat oh. whatever you guys want you guys want a tarot reading? You guys want to come to San Diego and tip the table with me? Come on, come <laughs> hang out with us. We'll go, we'll do it, all right? So make sure you put share. Mm -hmm. What do they have to do again, Joe? Just they have share. to share the, share the video and then comment that you shared it. Okay. Because so sometimes we're just, we're it looks really one. wonky and it will not tell me all the people that share it. Are we just picking one person, Joe? Do you, we could do it together. Well, me and you do it together, and then they have, they'll have the one person. Do you want to do it that way, or do you want to do it separate? Two separate people. Or we can we'll, we'll let them decide. We'll okay, let you them guys, decide. Vote. We're going to have a vote. Comment below. Do you want us to do, like, a three-way call with you, a three-way video or um, phone call with you guys? One winner or two separate winners, one 30-minute with me, one 30-minute with Jack. Comment below. Tell us what you want. And then we will oblige. <laughs> I'll let Danelle, Danelle said she wants to come table tip with just Jack. <laughs> you should. It's so fun. It's so fun. So fun. All right. Let's keep on going because we don't have too much time. Joe, what would you tell those people who want to be on stage, who want to get the phone call that says, come serve our people, come talk to our people, come hang out with us? What, what would I say to them? Like, What information would you give? What, what, what's a tip you would give to those people who really want to do what you're doing right now, which is living your best life? 
Oh, this is an easy one, Jack. Well, there's, it's kind of twofold, but uh, believe. Believe in yourself and envision yourself up on that stage because that's exactly what I did, you guys. When I started this business, before I even met Jack, he didn't even know this. When I joined this business, you guys, and I went to my first live event, huh, what a coincidence that that's what we're talking about. When I went to my first live event, you guys, which was our annual convention for Unique, I saw the people speaking and I was crying. I literally cried and I cried. And I, all I did was envision myself up on that stage, sharing my story with the people and relating to the audience. Like these people related to me and moved me. So believe and envision yourself exactly where that person is up on stage so if you were at my speaking event in nashville when you saw me up on stage envision yourself in my exact spot on that stage and feel the feelings of being up there and feel the feelings of moving people in that audience and sharing your story and relating to people and changing people's lives because even if one person got to hear your story and change their life that's that's one per that's one life changed you guys and that's, that's why I do what I do. So envision it, believe it, and it'll happen. But if that's yeah. all you do is believe, believe it and envision it, and you don't take any work towards it, and you never become better, and you never do your personal development, you never do your affirmations, you never try meditation or try new things, you're most likely not going to achieve it, okay? So you always have to make sure that there's action between the belief and the envision part of it, right? The vision and the belief, action, success and that's where you're on the stage okay so yeah. don't give up on yourself continue believing continue to work hard and you'll get this yeah and when you're it, it's one thing to say oh i see it in my mind and i believe it in my heart and i can feel it in my body i can feel it in my blood i can feel it in my soul but here's the here's here's where we want you to go one step further i want you to hold that belief hold it hold it for five minutes and then hold it for 10 minutes, and then hold that feeling for 20 minutes, and then hold that feeling for 30 minutes, and then go the whole day having that feeling of you being the person you came to this world to be. Have a feeling of being that person who's joyful. Have that feeling of being in gratitude. Gratitude leads to joy, and joy really literally is the key to manifestation, you guys. So listen to what homegirl's saying. She's not just talking out of her butt. That's what I love about Joe is that we can talk out of our butt all day long, but she's actually doing it. I'm actually doing it. We're actually doing the work that we signed up for when we first came to this earth in this time space reality. We're doing it. And what's so great is that we're helping others do it too. So if you want to do it with us, by all means, let's link arms. Let's hang out together. Call up Joe, tell Joe, hey, Let's have a chat. I want to talk more to you. Call me up. Get your free mastermind with me. I give away free 15-minute masterminds. Um, and then we can see where you belong. What, what I love about Joe is that, and she's like, this is what, how I am too. We don't care if you join our team, right? We don't care about that. All we care about is you tapping into the gifts and the talents that you have laying within you bringing them out and then giving them to the world, especially right now, especially right now. So Joe, do we have any more to say before we let these fabulous people go? Where can they um, find you at? All, I mean, all I want to end with you guys is that it's uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable to start to believe in yourself and to feel all the feelings and all the stuff that you've gone through in your life and to heal that. It's uncomfortable, but I'm going to tell you it's going to be more uncomfortable envisioning your life in 10, 15, 20 years down the road, and you haven't changed a bit. That is uncomfortable, and that's scary. So I would rather be uncomfortable yeah. now making progress and changing my life and going outside of my comfort zone than visualizing my life in 20 years, and I'm still living on the same hamster wheel of life that I'm on today. Do you know what I mean, you guys? So just know, just talking to Jack and I, it's not going to be an instant, holy crap, I believe in myself. This is awesome. Because it's just like working out, you guys. If you work out and you eat healthy and you get this nice body and you're feeling really good, 
and then you stop eating healthy and then you stop going to the gym and working out, what's going to happen? You backpedal, you gain the weight, you get unhealthy again, you feel like crap again. You have to continue to progress and change and to move forward every single day and take the action that it takes to keep yourself in the positive mindset. Okay. So that's what I want to end with. Yeah. Stay there, stay in that, do it, do that daily. If you don't do anything daily for the next three months, do your affirmations daily. What did Napoleon Hill say? You ever said a little white lie over and over and over so many times? You yourself started to believe it. That's exactly what happens. You'll just start believing the little white lie. And then what you'll realize is, I ain't lying no more. I'm living it. Yep. I'm being it. I'm not just faking the funk. I'm not just faking it till I make it. No, I made it, queen. Here I am. Where am I going next? And it goes, doesn't it go like that, Jill? It's like, I made it here where I wanted to be. I was over there. Now I'm here. Where do I want to go next? What's next on the agenda? And then what happens is the stuff you're learning right now, three months from now, you won't care about. You won't care about. You'll have a whole different mindset. And then six months down the line, you'll be learning something new and something new and something new and something new. So always grow, continue to grow. If you're not growing, you're rotting, right? Sure. You wither away to nothing. Yeah. Uh, we send all of you guys so much love. Feel free to share. Get on our newsletters. We have great newsletters. And follow us on YouTube and all that social media stuff. Instagram. And we'll see you guys on the flip side. Yeah. And then, you guys, I'm just reading the comments real quick, Jack, because I want to see if they wanted a three-way call or two separate with us i see two separate two separate two separate three way two separate three way two separate three way two i think two separate one all right well let's do two separate two separate so make sure you shared you guys if you got any valuable content from this or you feel really good about this or there's somebody on your newsfeed that needs to hear what we're talking about today share it on your wall then comment that you shared, and then I will pick a winner for my 30-minute coaching call, whether you're in the business or not, and Jack will pick a 30-minute free coaching call, just like me, uh, for one person as well. And it will not be the same person, okay? So we'll pick two different people to win this. And then, Jack, what was your other giveaway you're giving away to? Um, I'm giving away two audios in two my audios. email list. So, so get on sign up for our email newsletter at justjack.com. And if we're not friends, let's be friends. Let's be friends. I like friends. I know Jo, um, she, she wants you to follow. She likes um, to follow. I don't like followers. I think followers are weirdos, you know. Jack, I, I like have maxed out my friends let's list five friends. times. <laughs> she she's too popular all right i'm not that popular i i still have room for friends i get rid of people all the time <laughs> i make the block and delete button my best friend i'm always <laughs> <doing>. <laughs> all right lots of love to all you guys thank you so much joe for hanging out and i love you so much so proud of the person that you are continuing to become that you continue to become on the daily so proud of you girl lots of love Thank you, Jack. And thank you guys for hanging out today with us. I am so thankful, you guys, for Jack. And I just want to mention, Jack, do you have an event at the end of this month? Or is that the only one in February? That's Uh, on February 29th. Okay. So, you guys, I just want to end with, um, if you are within the unique company and you've heard of his event or maybe you haven't heard of his event, I know, Jack, you probably have more details than I do. Um, There is a unique event where, Jack, you're speaking, correct? It's actually not a unique event. It's, it's universal. Not- so okay. everybody can come. Anybody in the home business, online business, industry. They have great speakers. I mean, Amber Boyd's going to be there. Brianne Witt's going to be there. Um, I'm teaching on, I'm actually, my topic is attraction marketing. And you know, I learned attraction marketing from the queen of attraction marketing herself, <clears throat> Miss Diane Hockman. If you're not following Diane Hockman, go follow her because... She teaches attraction marketing, but yeah, it's, it's really universal. Everyone's welcome. They're doing um, early bird specials. So keep an eye out for that. And are you posting on your wall at all how they can get their tickets if they want to attend it? Uh, yes, I will. 
Okay. I will post on my wall. I will post the, um, I have to message those girls because I think that they were going to create a whole new event. So, okay. But we're, we're kicking it off right now. Joe is the first one to kick off the party. So I thank you, Joe. You're welcome. Thank you guys. I'm so thankful for Jack. Again, if you do not follow him, you do not follow me. Please make sure to hit that follow button and friend request Jack because he likes his friends. And if it wasn't for Jack, you guys, I'm going to tell you the last year and a half, almost two years of my life would not be where it is today. Yes, I put in the work, but it was Jack being in my ear and providing me the tools and the resources um, to just better myself and to believe in myself and to just do the damn thing and to be the queen that I was born to be. So thank yeah. you, Jack. Yeah. That's all we did. All we did was tell her, be exactly the queen that we know you to be. That's all it is. People say I kick their butt. I don't kick their butt. I don't push them. I just call the truth. Be the queen you are, queen. True. So stop taking the All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Love you guys. Thanks again. Have an amazing Monday. Have an amazing rest of your week. And we hope to chat with you soon. We will pick a winner this week, and you will see it posted sometime. It'll be... It'll be a little secret. <laughs> Keep on the lookout. Keep on looking. Keep, okay, on looking. Guys. Keep them guessing. Much love, everybody. Bye, Mwah. Felicia.